A forest fire leaves behind an area of grass burned in an expanding circular pattern. If the radius of the circle of burning grass is increasing with time, according to the formula, R of t equals 2t plus 1, express the area burned as a function of time, which is t in minutes. Okay, so function time. <laughs> The only way that this question is going to work, if you guys know what the area of a circle is, they gave you hints as to what area formula you need to know. So I wrote it down for you guys over here. The area of a circle always equals pi r squared. Now, that's not enough for this question, all right? So the general formula is area equals pi r squared, but we have to turn it into a function. And remember, with functions, we like to have f of x notation or you know g of a or two letters basically right so what you're solving for is the first letter the f in this case we're looking for the area here so i'm just going to tweak this a little bit i'm going to say area of what what was the variable over here oh it's the radius so i can just say a of r equals pi r squared and that is my first function. Now the second function they gave you, right? They're telling you that r of t equals 2t plus 1. So my second function is r of t equals 2t plus 1. And what's going in here? You're plugging in a time and out comes a radius. t for time, r for radius. So if we talk about it in the same context here, you're plugging in a radius and out comes an area. Do you see how they piggyback on each other? Plug in a time, out comes a radius, put in the radius, out comes the area. So that's how our composite function is going to work. And that's what we have to do. We have to write an equation for the area of the circular ripple in terms of the other function. Now, Remember, with composite functions, normally the, um, the way that you write it is f of g of x, right? And keep in mind that the one that's inside the parentheses is always the inner function, and the f on the outside is always the outer function. Now, for more context, just know that, remember, the inner function you always have to do first, and the outer function is always done last. Now, in our case, which function is going to be first? Which one's going to be last, outer versus inner? The last one is always what you're looking for, what you look for. So what is the question actually asking for? It said over here, express the area burned. They're searching for the area. So I know that the first function that we did has to be the outer function. And the second formula has to be the inner function. And there's the piggybacking. I plug in the time, I get out a radius. I use that radius to plug in over here. So radius and radius, that's not a coincidence. That's how you relate the two functions together. So now I'm going to just use my notation over here. A of R of T. Do you see that? Now R of T is the inner R of T. And then A is the outer. So now we're going to do the same process as we've, we have been doing for this whole playlist on composition of functions. Remember, you always work from inner to outer. So with those numberings is what we've been doing, right? We always label what the inner function is. That's the R of T. And the R of T was 2T plus 1. Now you use that information and you plug in for the outer function, right? You now plug in 2t plus 1 for all r values from your outer function. So instead of it just being pi r squared, this is going to be pi 2t plus 1 squared. And maybe I'll make that in blue just to show you that here was the pi, here's the square, the only thing that you inserted was the r, and that was this part. So this is the answer to the first question. 
express the radius or sorry, express the area burned as a function of time. That is it. So if I just, you know, make this nice and pretty, I would just say a of r of t equals pi 2t plus 1 squared. Now, if you want to foil this out and make this even more simplified, you can do that. I'm not going to do that because the next question they want you to solve. So I think it would just be easier just keeping it in this notation. Okay, so part two says, use the function you just found in the previous example to find the total area burned after five minutes. So the function that we just found was a of r of t equals pi 2t plus 1 squared. Five minutes is a time value, and that's what we're going to be plugging in for t, 5. And now we can solve. The area, and I'm just going to say that this is area now, right? So area equals pi 2 times 5 plus 1, all squared. So now we can simplify that. This is all just algebra now, guys. Area equals pi. 2 times 5 is 10. 10 plus 1 squared. 10 plus 1 is 11. 11 squared, right? We have to do this first. 11 squared is 11 times 11. It is not 11 times 2. So 11 times 11, I believe, is 121. Yes, 121. So area equals 121 pi, or you could have just kept it as pi 121. It doesn't really matter. This is if you left it in terms of pi. And now if we have to put it into a unit, let's just see. Um, did they give us a unit for R? I don't think so. They said a forest fire leaves behind an area of grass. If the radius is increasing with time, no, they didn't give us any units, meaning that we don't know if this is 121 pi inches squared or maybe feet squared. We have no idea. It wasn't stated in the problem. So I'm just going to leave it as this. If you guys want to actually multiply it out, 121 times pi would give you roughly um, 380. Let me just highlight this back. Sorry about that, guys. So area is 380. And once again, we don't know the units. But technically, there should be units here. All right? So yeah, that's this one. There's your two answers. What do you think, guys? This one was pretty easy. Let me know in the comments. Um, thank you so much. And thank you for supporting us watching the video. If you want to help us out, hit the subscribe button. It just gets the word out to tons of other more people that might need math help. And I thank you so much for that. We'll see you guys all in the next question. Keep studying hard. Have a great day.